I never saw that riposte coming. Uh, lucky, I guess. No, that was more than luck, but I appreciate the lie. We haven't been formally introduced. I'm Romando Baptista. Duncan McLeod. Uh, Baptista, didn't you fence for Argentina in the 84 Olympics? Uh, and you? You fenced for... Uh... I gave up my amateur standing a long time ago. Really? How about lunch, McLeod? Oh, I have a few errands to run. Oh, please. The least you can do is allow me to lose graciously, no? What do you say? My home, two hours? Why not? I leave you my card at the door. Okay, I'll see you later. Goodbye. Duncan McLeod of the Clan McLeod. I don't think we've been introduced. Now we have. You're not my business, but if you ever get in my way again, you will be. other immortals in combat to the death. The winner takes his enemy's head, and with it, his power. I am a watcher, part of a secret society of men and women who observe and record, but never interfere. We know the truth about immortals. In the end, there can be only one. May it be Duncan MacLeod, the Highlander. I didn't get into this business to make friends. This is my paper. If he's corrupt, I have to print it. People are dead because of him. We have to shut him down. Or find the second source. Uh-huh. Yes. Look, pay him if you have to, but nail it down, eh? Papa? Princess, please, I'm on the phone, huh? I hate my new school. See, si. un momento, eh? Un momento. 
Yeah, honey. This schools in Europe, they're wonderful, no? But I don't like it there. I want to go home. Mia, yeah, this is an important call. I have to talk to him. Huh? Why don't you take Maxim and go and play? And we talk later, yeah? Okay. Okay. Is this way on the bed? You made quite an impression this morning. Nice place he's got here. Baptiste must sell a lot of newspapers. <laughs> Enough. Hello. That's me, Senor Baptiste's daughter. I don't care who he owns in Congress. They'll come after us, we go after them. It's all part of the game, no? But we print it. See? Front page. Huh? Well, tell those bastards they know where to find me, huh? I think they already have. What? Found you. You're telling me that an assassin, a woman, was trying to kill me with this arrow? It's a crossbow bolt. It's not an arrow. Mm. And it's designed to kill. And exactly how did you find it? Just lucky again, Mr. Baptista. Just lucky. Lovely. Is this a new dress? It's so beautiful. I have a new puppy. See? He's a corgi. Oh, wow. He's so cute. You know, the queen has exactly the same kind of dogs. I knew that. Makes him kind of royal, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah? Me, sweetie. Where's your father? We friends. I invite you to lunch. Do you turn up with a story right out of uh, Mission Impossible? And I'm not supposed to be skeptical, huh? Skeptical is fine. Stupid isn't. I'm not as stupid, Mr. McLeod. Or gullible. It's her. What? She's here. Mia. Mia's down there. There was a woman here. Did you see her? This is important. Did you see anyone? You're scaring her. It's all right. It's okay. It's all right. Don't ask She was here. Mia, did you see anyone? Did 
It's me and Maxime. Okay. Come. We'll go back to the house. Lunch is over. Come. Who are you? The name's Katya. You should have gotten out while I gave you the chance. That was a chance? If I wanted you dead, you'd be dead. Maybe. Why are you trying to kill Armando Baptista? Why are you trying to kill Armando Baptista? Because he killed Elena. Who was Elena? She was my daughter. I found Elena Moreno in Buenos Aires. Millions of people, and she was alone, barely surviving. She was only six years old. You should have seen her. She was tiny, starving, begging for scraps, living on other people's garbage. There was something in her eyes, something that reached out and grabbed my soul. All she knew was her name and that her parents didn't want her. I couldn't walk past her. Sometimes I would make believe that she was part of my own flesh and blood. And maybe because I could never have children of my own, I wanted to be the best mother in the world. I wanted to give her back some of what she had given me. I watched her grow up. She was beautiful. And when she was old enough, I told her the truth about me. We kept moving so that the world wouldn't know I wasn't getting any older. I went from being her mother to being her older sister. To her younger sister. But she was always my little girl. came to her home one night. Armando Batista had shot my beautiful baby. Elena! Elena! No, senora, Get out of my way! You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be all right, okay? You're gonna, you're gonna be fine. I feel bad. I might die. No, baby, I'm not gonna let you die. You're gonna be fine, okay? Mama. Yes? Mama. Stay with me. I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. Stay with me. No.
Why didn't you go to the police? Oh, there were police and a judge and a jury. But in places like Argentina, a man with important friends... You won't. Mortal law failed, McLeod. But I won't. My little girl will have justice. I'm sorry if that man scared you, Mia, this afternoon, huh? You like playing with your new dog, huh? Max seems not just a dog. He's a royal dog. Oh, because you own him? No, silly, because the Queen of England has lots of them. Really? Who told you that? It's a secret. I see. Oh. Did the Queen ask you not to tell? No. The King? No. I, uh, I give up here. And catch up. When did you see Aunt Katia? I wasn't supposed to tell. The man was right. She was here this afternoon. Jose. Yes, senor. Katia's in town. Find her and dig up all you can on Duncan McLeod. Okay, sir. Busy man, McLeod. I don't have the time. Make it time. I don't think so. The door is this way, senor. Elena Moreno. Jose! Show Mr. McLeod into the office. But first, make sure he's comfortable. He's so comfortable. Before we discuss Elena, let's talk about you. There's nothing to talk about. You'd be surprised. Duncan McLeod. Born in Glasgow in 1962 at the St. Alistair's Hospital, which burned down in 1966, conveniently destroying all the original records. Your parents? John and Mary die in a car accident when you were still a child. So, you were raised by a maiden aunt in America. Judith. I still miss her. Hmm. But she dies of a stroke when you're 17. It's amazing how everyone who knew you as a child seems to be uh, unreachable or dead. It's a sad story. Mm. Was it Oscar Wilde who said, losing one parent is a tragedy? And losing both is carelessness. Oscar was a cynic. And you, Mr. McLeod, are a liar. I've been in the newspaper business all my life. I can smell a fake. And you, my friend, stink. She's out there. And she's coming. And there's nothing you can do to stop her. Why is my life so important to you, huh? All life is important to me, Mr. Baptista. Even Elena Moreno's. Why did you kill her? Elena and I had been married for 10 years. Ramon Castillo had been my right arm for nearly as long. Ah, Ramon. I have the final itinerary. Ah, 
Paris, Nice, Rome, Venice. Nine cities in 12 days, eh? You're trying to kill me, eh? I have to keep the advertisers happy. Ah, I think I thought you'd do well, no? What time is the car coming? I'm driving myself to the airport, so we have little time. Good. Now, you're sure that it's okay if Mia stays with me tonight, right? Yeah. Yeah. The uh, housekeeper will be with her during that dinner thing I have to attend, but she'll be asleep by then anyway. She's been looking forward to it for weeks. I'll be fine. You look great. You mind if I help myself? No, not at all. I think we need more eyes. Katya, a little help? Sure, what, for eyes? Yes, please. Okay. He can't keep his hands to himself. Just stay away from him. Elena, what are you doing? Ramon makes me feel beautiful. He makes me feel young. Some of us can't stay 27 forever. Does Armando know? Mama, I've only one short life. Let me live it. Please be careful, Elena. And and think of Mia. You know he'll find out. They always do. Ramon, how could you do this to me? I can't believe it. It sure don't lie. I'm sorry, senor. Want to see more? No. Are you right?
telephoned for an ambulance, but she died on the way to the hospital. I loved her. So much that you killed her? You weren't there. You didn't see them. Castillo was my protege. He was like a brother to me. With my wife. So they had to die because you got your feelings hurt? No. There was no thought, no plan. The courts understood. It was a crime of passion. It was murder. And you beat it. Did I? You have any idea what it's like to see my little daughter's face every day? See her mother looking back at me? She has no idea how her mother died. Yes, but she will. Because Katya's not going away. What does she want me to do? Kill myself, huh? Now tell me. Tell me. How can I kill my little girl's father when I've already killed her mother, huh? I haven't come here to tell you what to do. Or how to live your life. That's your choice. Come in. Where are they? Disneyland? Armando's disappeared and taken my granddaughter with him. You hungry? What? I've got some fresh basil in the fridge and, uh... I've got some parmesan, oh, too. I've got some extra virgin olive oil somewhere. I hope there's some pine nuts. In the cloud. Hmm? I need answers. Pesto's no good without pine nuts. Now, what about the wine? I say we go with the red. French or Italian? What do you think? Hmm? French. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, I came here thinking I might have to kill you. You don't get out much, do you? Not lately, no. Too busy being the sword of justice. Don't joke. I'm not. Why are you protecting him? It's not about him. You ever raise a child, McLeod? Do you ever wish that you had? Katya, killing's not the answer. What about revenge? The emptiness you feel. Won't be filled by anger. Or revenge or hate. Armando's death would just leave you feeling emptier. And I don't think you need to feel emptier. I think... You need to feel life. Hmm? <laughs> Your life. <laughs> Oops. Yours and. And for Elena. birthday I'll be uh, 406. You're pretty smart for a kid.
Good morning. Every time I close my eyes, I see them. Who? The jury. They thought Armando's precious honor was more valuable than my daughter's life. That's the system. No, it was his jury. Twelve men, good and true. I've seen it before. I found this box of turns. I take our grabber's money. Oh, yeah. oh, a little piece for me there, sweetie. <laughs> Sorry, Quigley. Rolf says you've got to pay for what you've already drunk. Besides, one more mug and Mistress Quigley's gonna come fetch you home in a cart. And you wouldn't want that to happen again now, would you? No. Go on then. No, come on. Off you go. You go home now and sleep it off. Go on. so badly it makes me burn like fire I can't I can't catch you no more secrets no more hiding in empty barns and midnight meetings I won't be the nobleman's whore any longer no that is not true that is not true who says these things but it is true. William, I want a family, children, but I won't let them grow up the way I did without a father. I love you, you know that. But I... I'd rather marry the poorest goat in the land than bear the bastards of Lord William of Godfrey. I'll talk to my father. I will make it right. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. Someone like you. And someone like me. It'll never happen. No. Goodbye, William. How that you keep, or how many bastards you sire, but you will keep them secret, and you will keep them hidden, and by God, you will keep them out of sight of your mother. She is not a harlot. Ah! I am going to marry her. When will you grow up, William? And think of your inheritance. Think of your title. Are you going to throw all that away on a tavern whore? I love her. <laughs> and if you disinherit me, father, you will have to leave the kingdom to your brother Leopold. <laughs> Leopold? Hmm? That idiot. I'd rather burn it to the ground. The tavern whore or your brother Leopold. Which is it to be, Father? <laughs> uh, my son. 
my son. You give me no choice. said yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's impossible. No, it's a miracle. <laughs> he, he, uh, he wants to meet you tonight at dinner. Oh, no. I, I can't. It's huh? all those highborn people. I mean, what would I wear? <laughs> no, my father's already thought of that. This dress is my mother's and he wants you to have it. For heaven's sake! Oh, I feel like I'm dreaming! It's true. Your Lordship, Katya of Greenhill. Good evening, Your Lordship. I was expecting William. My son has been unavoidably detained. Let us proceed with the evidence. Bring on the witnesses. Evidence? Witnesses? Your Lordship, what is this about? This is Quigley. Come forward. You have testified that a week ago that woman passed your house and gave it the evil eye. Since then, two of your best milking cows have dried up. And now, your husband has taken to unnatural walks, calling out this witch's name. Witch? I'm no witch. Quickly, you would also swear to this It's not true! Ailesman, come forward. You have also testified that you have seen her mixing potions and spells in the shed behind the alehouse. Spells she used to bewitch William of Godfrey. You're my friend! has employed our unnatural powers to seduce my son. Look! She even wears his mother's dress to allure him. Only someone in league with Satan could tempt William to desire such a base-born wench. No! There is no witchcraft! William loves me as I love him! I swear I am innocent, your lordship. Silence! You will be taken to the quarry at dawn, and there you will be stoned until you are dead. No, your lordship, no! And that is a fitting end to a devil's whore! No, I beg you, I am innocent! Take her away! No, I beg you! That's it! I went out to dinner expecting to be treated like a young bride, and I woke up in a charnel pit. Immortal. Men's justice, Duncan. Katya, it's not all men. I don't want to kill all men. Just one. Katya. Katya.
Jose, make sure the place is locked up tight. I don't want any surprises from Katia, huh? Yes, senor. Is this about his guilt, or yours? Stay out of my way, Duncan. You were a good mother. There's nothing you could have done to stop it. I can end it. Katya. The only way you're gonna stop me is to kill me. I haven't come to kill you, or to stop you. Just to tell you that if you do this, you'll never heal. Nothing will ever be the same. Let it go. Jose! Jose! He won't be coming. Isn't this the same kind of gun you used to kill Elena? For God's sake, Katya, what do you want from me? I want you to die. Don't you think I would do anything to have her back? I was crazy that night. It was not my fault. They knew that at the trial. Then I think it's time we had another trial. Pick it up. I said, pick it up. I'm giving you one chance, Armando. Right now, you and me. Katya, this is insane. Mia loves him. Maybe I should never have told her. Maybe I destroyed any chance Elena had to be happy. I don't know. All I know is that I have to go away and sort this stuff out. You gave her a life. A mother. A love she would never have known without you. Yeah. You know, I always wonder why we can never have children. I used to think it was a curse, but it's not. We lose friends. And we lose lovers. It always hurts. But no one should ever have to lose a child. <laughs> 